Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, hello. So funny. God See, before, almighty. Before we were on camera, I heard some noise, and I was like, who's making noise? Oh, it's the man <laughs> dressed yeah. in spoons. I was late for sound check. I didn't screen this ahead of time, y'all. You are experiencing this at the same time as I am, and I what don't know what, it I, is. what a treat it is. Oh, I, you're talking about my, my outfit? Hey, Hi, Dad, yeah. you're, you're required. Class you're right living on this. pension. You don't have money to buy stuff. You don't like have this. chain don't pay you. Money. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the launch party, the, the exclusive launch stream for <laughs> the Adventure Zone 5, the 11th hour. I am uh, the oldest brother and the lowest contributor to the graphic novel hey, project. Hey, don't you Justin take that. Tyler, How Matt dare you claim that? <laughs> I have lots That's of other my gifts. thing. I have lots of other gifts. Hi. But no, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying I think I contribute less than you do. And who are you? Oh, I'm Travis Macker. I'm the middlest brother. Uh, I'm the father of Magnus Burnsides. Oh, weird way to put that. But it's weirdest, true. weirdest possible. Say that actually. And I'm Clint McElroy. I'm the grandfather of Magnus Burnside. Why was I looking over here? Yeah, I don't know. Who's there. I no don't one's know. Over there. You're looking here. Uh, I'm Griffin McElroy, the youngest of uh, the McElroys that are currently assembled. There are other younger McElroys now, um, but that's not germane to this conversation. And I, I helped write the dang thing. Yep, that's true. And and uh, who are you in the corner there? Oh, and I'm Carrie Peach, and I'm the oh, cartoonist. I've always wanted to meet Carrie. What an honor. <laughs> it's been so long. You're telling me you do all the pictures. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I do. Even the weird ones? Especially the weird ones. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I, so you drew Magnus's bare butt. Yeah. That's not That's in this book. Disgusting. We, that wasn't even in the script, folks. <laughs> Yeah, that's yes, true. This is all heavily scripted. Um, <laughs> do you do you y'all think this is the best one yet? That's what the critics are saying. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta agree. Yeah, Carrie agrees. Trav, absolutely. Yeah, I think I this, think is the this best one. Yet. Yeah, we finally started taking it seriously on this one. I think. Yeah, this we, one we really put down. the work in. I guess why it came out in February instead of October because we were yeah. like, let's do this one right. Yeah, let's really put the elbow grease into this one. I think that uh, we've said every time that this is this one's. The best one yet, but that's only because we wouldn't put one out like, man. Eh, well, there's only going to be a set number of these. This one will be Crystal Kingdom. We'll take a flyer. That one will <laughs> be. None. That one will be perfunctory at bet. No, nah, they've all they've all. Uh, we're supposed that. to give uh, in case we have already said wordy dirds. Uh, we're supposed to give a language warning here. We might say yeah. some adult. Not just language, but I would say concepts. Yeah. Um, just some, tax season. Yeah. Difficult. <laughs> just a lot of uh, talking about S Corps. Uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be really hot stuff. You guys got 529s for your kids? Got to tell you about these things. It's uh, uh, amazing. We're going to be talking with Carrie a lot. We've got a lot of special guests. We've got a lot of uh, fun and frivolity. We're going to uh, have our first uh, guest join us here in a bit. But Carrie, I hate for you to come here and then uh, have to leave without saying, uh, what your favorite picture is in the book that you did. Oh, you can't make me pick. I, as we talked about, I drew all of them and they all have That's to be my true. favorite while I'm drawing we shouldn't them. Make you cho choose. Yeah. Okay, well, you think about it. What's okay. the we'll worst come back to that. What's the one yeah, you, you really it, like Harry? blew it on? Well, this one, uh, picture? Well, well, it, okay, it let's is a time loop, so there are a couple of panels that I did get to just straight uh -huh. up. Uh -huh. I told okay, you. I had you in mind when I did the thing in the first place. I was like, this one's going to be... Uh, a real time saver. Oh, it's like a Scooby Doo thing where the background just loops as they mm -hmm. run across the mm -hmm. thing. I love right? that. That's great. Well, our follow up question is which was your favorite drawing of Merle that you did? That wasn't oh. any of our follow up <laughs> questions except yours. Don't, don't include us in that. Well, I'm. Again, I can't I can't possibly pick just one, but Merle always has good acting, and uh, I especially like the face he, the face he makes when he gets spunked with uh, Cassidy's shovel. Yeah, it's grot it's grotesque. I was <laughs> I've, I was just uh, re perusing it and hit that point. It's like dead space in there. There. <laughs> it, but there are pieces of Merle that just go in every which way. Uh, who, are, who are you dressed as? <laughs> he, oh, Dad came straight from a cosplay event. Where I am he was dressed as one class. of the nice Templar. <laughs> you look the like you're about, to, you're about to tell Indiana me Jones. I just you're about to tell me I just drank from the wrong cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you chose. 
poorly. You yeah. did actually. Uh, I did. These lights I are can't bright. Do jack with these yeah. things. Yeah. Oh, how yeah, long do you think that's gonna last? Yeah, the whole about five show? seconds. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's uh let's let's start our first uh let's welcome our first batch of guests and get into our first reading. We'll circle back uh, with you soon, Carrie. Carrie, Let take me. it soon. Uh, joining us now, we're uh, joining us now from the field. We've got live reports from Abria Iyengar and Megaran. Uh, can you hear us? Yes. Hello. That's the scene there where you are. What? Uh, tell us about. Uh, I'll give us all the details. Uh, You're at the Books a Million, and it's launch day, and things are just going ape shit. There That's are cosplayers right from Monty Python and the Holy Grail everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Drag him, drag him, Maria. It looks like you got one in your house. Just you got <laughs> right. He's basically your dad now, too, Maria. Give him shit. <laughs> and I gotta no tell way. you, uh, these knights, my, I have such admiration for the knights of old because there's so much nipple chasing going on right now. Wow, <laughs> it's not even. Oh, nipple. my bingo card just filled up. That was, oh, that wow. was the last square. Dad, you're, I have asked you not to say nipple chafing in the same building as my children, and you have violated that sacred trust. It was the one thing Justin asked. <laughs> and Megaran, how are you? Hey, oh, uh, things and are the crazy question here. we ask everybody here how are your nipples? Uh, <laughs> Doing well, thanks. Uh, I'm in Phoenix, pretty warm. Um, everything is pretty comfy. No, no chafing on this side. Thanks for nice. asking. That's great. Nice. That's, That's the great. service we provide to our guests. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate your concern. I've never been asked about them. So a... every time we do these shows, I ask ahead of time, are we doing cosplay? And you every do. time we say no. No. <laughs> You do? Yeah, you, yeah. Didn't ask, you didn't even ask this time. You well, I just assumed you everybody just assumed. was. You just, it's well, been you a didn't while. even show up for sound. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I regret that now. It's been a while since we've done a live Taz show, and I feel like Dad's just got a lot sort of like in storage yeah. in us uh, in surplus. Uh, okay, this is going to be a four-hour-long show. We yeah. have to start. All right, let's let's read. This. Let's begin our reading. Our yes. first of yeah. the readings. This is the temporal chalice, a relic that allows the holder to control the flow of time. Temporal chalice, vessel of future, past, and present. We think someone has used the chalice to create that time distortion sphere. What's more, we're worried whoever's wielding it could alter time itself. Wait, so it can change history? Its wielder can change history, yes, which makes it the most seductive and dangerous relic you have faced yet. We've given the cold shoulder to your four other uber tchotchkes. We can handle this one. I hope so, Taco. Because the power to fix your mistakes is a temptation that is nearly impossible to resist. Beep. Wait, that's supposed to... Get changed, boys. We'll reconvene at the launch bay at the top of the hour. 10 a.m. So... <sighs> Do you have a way to make this impenetrable force field penetrable? Mr. Avi has actually been working on a theory. Sounds good. Let's get the lowdown. Avi, my man. Uh, where, uh, where is he? On site in Wolven Gulch with the cannon. Oh, thank fantasy Jesus. <laughs> If I had to get shot out of the cannon one more time, I would freak. Tell me we're not going to use the gondola of death again. No, sirs. We have a new method of transportation. You'll be traveling Air Angus. <laughs> I don't think the three of us can fit on that stick. Are you shrinking us? We haven't done shrinking yet. No, sirs. I've been studying magic with Mr. Taco. Yeah, what can I say? I had to pick up a tutoring gig to pay for my gym membership. Besides, he's really good. Well, he's well taught, more accurately. Mr. McDonald will cast Gentle Descent, and you will fly directly to what will hopefully be the infiltration site. Oh, oh hopefully? It's a magic time bubble, Merle. We're all working without a net here. Wish. Gentle Descent. Baby's first feather fall. Wish. Wobble, 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 wobble. Yeah. 
decent construction, but maybe just a little uh, whip. Um, flash. Featherfall, the real deal in gravity defiance. What happened to he's really good? He is. But I'm Taco. Whoosh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see my part was next. Well, look at my precious protagonist just zooming through the wild blue yonder. Pretty sweet, right? Very, and I am digging that avian chest piece you're rocking. Oh, this old thing? I picked it up from my bestie Garfield. Griffin, it's weird, I have to read this. Griffin yeah, McElroy, actual human being. Class, game master. Proficiencies, generating challenges, granting levels, guiding goofballs. It only cost me an old armor piece and some blood. Yikes. Yeah, dude's just wild about my blood, I guess. Magnus, fighter level 10, rogue level 1. A lot can happen between books. Plus 2 to constitution, plus 1 to dexterity. I got the strong mouse amulet. If it likes my jokes, I get a boost to constitution. And if it doesn't? I get struck by lightning. We'll miss you very much, Merle. Merle, cleric level 10, rogue level negative 1. Hey, if the others get to do it. Plus 1 to constitution, plus 1 to wisdom. What about you, Taco from TV? This stupid slingshot. I'm going to keep it in my back pocket like the irascible troublemaker I am. Taco, transmutation wizard, level 10, rogue level 0. Wanted it for his resume. Plus 1 to intelligence, plus 1 to dexterity. Ding! So, aren't you going to cancel my spell and let us plunge to the ground or send us into a tornado or some other gruesome death-dealing scenario? No, of course not. Woof. We're already in trouble with Kravitz for dying so many times. Yeah, he seemed really pissed about that. Oh, yes. Boom. I remember. Woven Gulch, 10.30 a.m. Nice landing. No, oh, thanks, Avi. What's the sitch? Avi, race human, class launch specialist. Proficiencies, occasional advance man, operating oversized artillery, revising percentages. It's really interesting. The temporal energy fluctuates in intensity. It gets weaker, then stronger, then weaker. And I think I've locked onto the pattern. Oh, wow. Look at the size of this bad boy. Is this a modified version of the Jaeger 68? No, that's a prototype of the even newer Jaeger 69. Nice. That's no problem. Please don't say. Blasting you right through that barrier. That... When you say no problem, I am 94% sure that if I shoot you out of the cannon point blank when the distortion energy levels at its lowest, you'll go through. Have you tested it? A few rocks, a skull. Maybe I'm 91% sure. 91%? <laughs> well, I'm sold. Let's do it. I don't suppose you've given any thought to how we're going to get back out, have you? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we should figure that out huh yeah avi we should fucking figure that out um uh, avi do they have a gopher problem around these parts a big gopher problem scrumble scrumble scree 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 never mind not why gophers do, why do they sound so much like guinea pigs when griffin does it though <laughs> <laughs> what a womb scree Wave of thunder, concussive force. Whoa, that gym membership is really paying off. Scree, scree, gleam. Swee, swee, swee. What? That's it? They're leaving? I didn't get to chop anything. Phew, that was close. I'm pretty sure they've been prowling around here for a while now. I think they were looking for something. Oh, was it maybe a righteous ass whipping? Because I found it. <laughs> I thought purple worms were supposed to be huge. Like the size of a bunch of trains all bundled together. Hundreds of feet long and dozens of feet wide. Wait, you mean those were baby worms? Uh, pretty much. Taco is not good out here. This is so cool. 10.58 a.m. Uh, inertia charm. Effect reduces momentum. Description prevents rapid acceleration, hopefully. One more thing, sirs. When you pass through the time distortion... If they pass through the time distortion... You won't be able to communicate with us. 
you will truly be on your own. So brace yourselves, adventurers. Groom. For the time of your lives. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> right. So, roll call. Taco is present ish. Magnus? I think I'm still here. Good enough. Merle? <laughs> Seconded. <laughs> whip, whip. Looking for something? I'm just checking to see if Kravitz is coming to harvest our dead ass souls. Looks like we're in the clear. Mm, don't look so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> what do your elf eyes see? Whoa. Well, sir, I see we're in the traveling entertainment business called a real flyover town. Ooh, sounds rustic. Oh, it's rustic as hell. Great. I have a proficiency in rustic hospitality. What? That, that doesn't even. Do your elf eyes see this shit? Greetings, visitors. Welcome to Refuge. Yay! Yay! And then it all burns up. Yay! 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 Wow, that was great. Um, <laughs> you all did so good. Thank you for doing that for us. Uh, how can people with give us. you? How can people give you money for your art? But, uh, good question. <laughs> well. Uh... You go first. You go first. Okay. All right. I'm on the spot here. Uh, I do two songs a month on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mega Ran. It's capital M, capital R. So it looks like Meg Ryan the first time you look at it. But it's not. <laughs> I did see that. Huh. The first time I, I actually, I see it now. I didn't see yeah, it it's before. True. Yeah. Now, yeah. You, now, now you've Seems messed me I up. Can see. <laughs> <laughs> but don't support Meg Ryan on Patreon. I know no. you're going to be tempted. Support Mega. She doesn't need it. Support me. I make She's songs fine. and uh, all kinds of things, and I'm working on a children's album that is coming along. Really. Oh, really? Ooh, yeah, I can't, I can't wait. To wait. Hear that. Oh, that's dope. Nice. Uh, and hi. Uh, you can catch me uh, wherever fine RPGs are done. Uh, right now, you can catch me over on Worlds Beyond Number, a brand new podcast. Our first episode drops on March first, and you can follow and support us on Patreon. Hear good things. I'm very excited for both of the things you all are working on. Yes. Yay! Excellent. Thank you for making Thank, them. Yeah, thanks for making the time to be here, y'all. We really appreciate it. Seriously. It's so fun. Congratulations, y'all. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. 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 Let's bring Carrie back in here. Yeah. And while she does, uh, while, while we do, I want to talk real quick. Let's talk about the part where we said the worms were the size of, quote, a bunch of trains bundled together. Yeah. Why did we decide? Yeah, we all know how analogies work. How right. did we settle on a bunch of trains bundled together as a metric for what size? Uh, what? Is? How else would you? Okay, let's get Ben. In There's here bigger too. things than trains, right? What? I mean, if if we look at the process of writing a graphic novel as just a series of sieves, that one that was just something I said in the podcast to describe a big thing, which then got transcribed into like a rough outline of the graphic novel, which then made it through several <laughs> revisions it, and several drafts until it ended up on the printed page. Folks. What it <laughs> represents, Justin, is that sometimes real life human beings say shit and other people are like, why did they say That's that? Real. That's right? real. This is real. This is how real Americans talk, Justin. That's but none of your Ivy leaguers. What kept it alive was the fact that I think in the back of our minds, we kept remembering how much Carrie loves drawing <laughs> trains. Yeah, I right. was just going to say, you guys are thinking about Rockport and how much <laughs> right. fun the big scene with the trestle bridge was. So. Okay, let's let's get yeah. Ben on here. And uh, I, I this is my favorite segment. Hello, Ben. Hello. Hi, ben. Uh, and our editor. Uh, this, this is my favorite segment every year. And sadly, I'm going to have to miss it this time because I have to go put my son to bed. But I will hopefully be back in time to catch the tail end of it. So uh, Griffin, really quick you? before you leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to embarrass all of you. Hello. I haven't yeah. talked to you all since your fucking book came out. Aww. Hi. Yeah. Hey, cool. yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. You did Thank it. You. Thank you. To be fair, though, we talked like two on that is days little... ago. You're like, yeah. that sounds <laughs> terrible. And Please then I would... don't talk. I, I would argue today. that. Anyway, congratulations, Griff Griffin. Go take care of your child. Okay, I I'll be right back. You. I would argue, Ben, that it is our book collectively, yeah. if it is anybody's book, because 
if it's if it's even readable, if it's legible, even all that. Well, I guess if the letter. it's printed, if it made it to <laughs> print on time, right. it's because of this. I physically right. carry it to the printer, which is awkwardly <laughs> in China. Um, but we forget. Hey, you do what you got to do. It's a yeah. long walk. Yeah. Hi, Ben. Welcome. Congratulations to you as well. Hello. Um, so what are we here to discuss today? Well, I Our am contracts for, for folks. Who... <laughs> <laughs> That's Callista's job. That's not my oh, okay. job. Okay, yeah, I don't worry about that. So, for folks who are new here, hello, I am Ben Wilgus. I am everybody's editor on this particular project, uh, and I've I, the I people's editor, guys, as they in, call him. In 2018, which is wild to me, both that that's a wild, and also that we made five books in that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of books. So uh, many the, books. The, the, we're mostly here in this particular moment for Carrie Peach, who has a delightful presentation <laughs> that she's made for us, and I want to stress to the audience that the guys have intentionally not seen this because there's some wild. There's some wild swings in this one uh, that we wanted them to experience in real time. No, there's one slide in particular, and you know which one I'm thinking <laughs> of. <laughs> we'll have fun. We have fun here. Yeah. Carrie. Okay, on. so let's bring up the slides. Thank you, Tom. Okay, so I wanted to talk this time about what's going to be new this time around, uh, which is that I spent the end of the previous book and the start of this one learning very basic 3D modeling in Blender. Um, it was a lot easier than I thought, so you've really got nothing to lose by giving it a shot. Also, it's free. I think the now most annoying thing. Now it's easy for thing... you, but you're mm -hmm. very talented and good at this. It's oh, true. that is very kind of you. I'm excited to show you some evidence uh, that I was not when I started out, and you can too learn this process. Thank you for the setup, Travis. Yeah, uh -huh. huge gift. Um, anyway, the most annoying thing is learning all the shortcuts. But like, if you've ever played a video game, I think you will be fine. Next slide. So here's what I made following tutorials as I was starting out so you can get a sense of the progression. Next slide. So there are a lot of good tutorials out there. Some people swear by the donut one. I like Grant Abbott's, which are much more modeling focused. Um, so I made some basic shapes, assigned them some colors, and then I got really overconfident and was like, oh, the next tutorial is just to make a little blocky self-portrait. I bet I can make a really fancy one. Also, next I love slide. that she says like the donut one as mm -hmm. if she's like, I'm a noob. I don't know anything. I'm just going to throw in there around these insider terms that as if they mean anything. The donut but... one. <laughs> it's just, it's a tutorial where you make a donut in Blender. I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, I, I thought it was an episode of Friends. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next slide. So that's, me. that's a carry. That's, that's a carry. Hey, let me tell you what I Just know like about Carrie. Carrie. Uh -huh. Just let me Carrie. know. Nope. Let me tell you the two things I know about Carrie. Love solving mysteries with mm -hmm. the flashlight. Yep. Got squished by a bulletin board <laughs> and now can be mailed from place to place like flat Stanley. Once exactly. really, really wants her MTV. Um <laughs> supposed to be but it looks like there's like this one tooth i think is my favorite yes. part ben, the, uh, that's, yeah. that's my giant <laughs> smile i'm insulted that you can't tell how happy i am in this also, portrait Carrie, to be I, blender. I don't judge anyone's life choices but i really do think you need to get lasik because you need to move your pupil from the top of your eye to the front of it. I mean, sometimes um, you just wake up and it's gone through the back of the I, head. I don't know what's yeah, going on. I've, I've slept in my contacts too, but I've been there. And I only want to look at this image for the rest of my Carrie, life. Carrie, can you explain what why this happened? No. Why is this so garbage, <laughs> Carrie? Uh, it's really hard to select very small things in Blender when you are starting out and a fool like I was. Um, I won't take further questions on this slide, so let's okay. move right, Carrie, <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> So here I am one more time, okay. just for good yeah. luck, um, floating in the void because I'm a little haunted, but I think my haircut is still pretty good. How yeah. is this? Now, this is art, though. Like, yeah, this now feels it's like art. art to me. Oh, well, uh, not video for long. Game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Next slide. So two important things that made Blender a good fit for me personally. One is that I love making miniatures, and the other one is that I really love kludges. So I'm bad at making things perfect, but pretty good at throwing stuff together that mostly works for like a very specific thing that you need. Carrie, can and, you define kludge for us, yes, please? Yes, please. Uh, kind of when you need to throw something together last minute at a convention and you didn't bring any of your signs, but you've got some tape and construction paper that a child chewed on. So you're going to do your best and it will fall apart after half an hour, but it'll hold until then. So that's fine. So I was gonna tried. guess. I was gonna guess Norwegian dessert, but yours is <laughs> Got it. Okay. Other IKEA favorites, the clubs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, and the thing that we needed here was some basic sets for the eleventh hour. So I started working towards building those. So I learned how to build houses out of blocks and cliffs out of a bunch of tubes, 
And I kept playing around. Let's go to the next wait, slide. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Tell oh. it, you told me this before, but how you made the horse was actually the incredibly cursed horse. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. start with like a flat horse. You start and with a flat like... horse and then you expand it outwards like you're uh, working on a children's helium balloon. And yeah. um, then you get That's kind of a God did object. It. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Carrie, uh, real quick before we get, I know we got a lot to get through, but as a, as a layman, what, what is the, the, uh, what is the uh, goal of using this? Like what, what is the advantage of this versus just doing everything uh, I by 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 hand, I guess it's, I don't know if that's the right term, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. No, I gotcha. I think you absolutely don't need to do any of this shit to make comics. I know a lot of people who just draw it all on paper. I don't have a lot of like visual RAM, so it's hard for me to hold a whole environment in my head at once. I have a much hmm. easier time like moving things around if I can kind of build on some kind of scaffolding. So in this case, building a bunch of like really simple sets helped for the you know when there's like a big establishing shot with like a train or like a giant purple worm or like a m complicated mine shaft it's really helpful to be able to zoom a little camera around and get a sense of what that might look like from different angles and also cool. she oh, can God. do like really wild perspectives and stuff and have the computer be doing the perspective math so she can mm -hmm. concentrate oh, okay. on the face that taco is making in that shot oh cool is... so you're making your own reference yeah yeah, yeah exactly okay. so i know people who do this in like animal crossing or room style or a sketchup it's really whatever floats really? your boat. Okay. For sure. Sorry, Carrie, we have, we have waylaid you. No, okay. no, it's all a no. treat to talk about. Thank you. Um, so after this, let's go to the next slide. I felt like I had the basics to get like pretty much down after the self-portrait. So I copied the houses, I copied the cliffs, and then I did it several more times and kind of smushed all that together. Next slide. And eventually I made a little town. So there's tiny, tiny refuge. Cool. Next slide. So for all of this, I was working in 2D first, so designing things as a drawing and then taking them into 3D to build them up and kind of make my own reference like you guys are talking about. So I felt really lucky for Refuge to be able to grip, build on Griffin's original map for the podcast, which was a huge help and really cool. Yeah, OG Taz fans are like losing their mind right now. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I saw that one on the left and I was like, that's really familiar. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I, I feel like figuring out logistically where everything is such that the things that happen make narrative and spatial sense is often the hardest part of designing environments for me. But here it was all decided already, which really saved me a lot of time and heartache. Next slide. I made a bunch of interior sets too. Uh, these were great for loose reference for distance shots like I was talking about. So when the camera zoomed way out, great, fantastic, it works. But it does kind of fall apart if you look at it too closely. I also Next. really love your vaporwave lighting and all of that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm into it. This is absolutely a treat for me is how can we make things look as cotton candy as possible? Yeah. Next slide. So the trees are kind of these weird floating UFO cones and the clock tower is like a bunch of loosely jumbled sticks because I don't know how to add more faces to an object once I've built the basic structure. <laughs> uh, next slide. Also, I don't know how clipping works. So anything that's not floating just intersects everything else. So here we have Lucretia just kind of standing right up through a giant brick of a bathtub. But yeah, so I think that's normal. If anybody's looking at this on their phone or a small screen, there's like a very faint pink outline where you can see Lucretia's feet on the bottom of the right hand uh, side here is what carries. Man, we should about. charge extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Lucretia feet pics. I got to go. Uh, uh, I got to go. <laughs> don't worry about it. Next slide. Other problems with these models, the delicious food they're serving on this famous cooking show is all icospheres. Also, it's flying. Next slide. But if you don't look too closely, it really works for what I needed it to do. So let's talk about that on the next slide. So here's how I used it. And again, the quick caveat, you don't need to do any of this to make comics. Um, it's really whatever floats your boat. Plenty of people just do this all on paper and can hold it in their head just fine. Next slide. I found it really help helpful for complicated large areas like we were talking about. So like this page where the gang makes it to the bottom of the mine shaft trap sequence for the first time. Um, and is it cheating? Yes, but I love cheating. I think comics can get really hard if you let them get elaborate and you really need to use whatever tools work for you in the way that works for you to get things done. And I, I think you meant to talk about this on your next slide, but I'm going to mess up your pro uh, progression here and be like, the thing that I love here is you do always start with a thumbnail. And then you're, instead of like having the art in the book be like, you know, controlled by the models that you made, you're making the models do your original thing that you planned in the really early thumbnails, which I think is very cool. 
Yeah, that's definitely, that's how it works for my process. I make sure that I'm only bringing the models in after I've already thought about composition. So incorporating them either at the thumbnail or the pencil stage, um, which is important to me because it means that I'm thinking about story first and not just what's an easy angle for me to navigate to in Blender. I think they're less stiff this way too. Sweet, yeah. that's what we're hoping for. Next slide. Um, so in Istis's temple, again, I knew the kind of shot I wanted, even if like the layouts are really not meant to be seen by anybody other than me. The basic idea is there and the 3D model was mostly helpful for that specificity of like the detailed finicky entryway and like how far away those columns were meant to be. Uh, next slide. Uh, here's a shot of refuge that I use the 3D model for. And I think this one's cool because you can see me drawing right on top of the 3D model at the pencil stage to add things like not just windows, but like people, porches, more things to flesh out the town and the goofy signs. Um, again, I feel like the 3D model is really useful as scaffolding that you can then build the rest of the drawing on top of. I'm gonna, very briefly, I'm gonna say something I think only Clinton will care about. I just love how your shorthand for them in the layout are like little Star Trek symbols. Yeah. <laughs> they are a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm back everybody. I'm Hi so Griffin. Hello. I'm so sorry. See, what's You're funny back. is you said that, Ben, and my thought was in the pencil stage thinking about like, oh, it's like the flats from Blazing Saddles, so it's the fake town. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. All right, next slide. So Blender is really a way for me to outsource some of that work to my past self who also got to make little doll houses, which is inherently fun for me. Uh, so here's the Davy lamp. Again, you can see me drawing right on top of the models after I figured out the composition I wanted at the thumbnail stage. I really like Cone Taco in the layouts there. Mm -hmm. Next slide. So if you have the book, there's a lot more detailed info in the back matter on the kind of models that I used in Blender tutorials, but they were all really fun to make and it's been fun to talk about and I hope you enjoy reading it. Also nice. big shout out so to cool. our designer, Molly Johansson, where yes. we just throw a bunch of stuff at them and they make this beautiful back matter for us. <laughs> they are very powerful and I am so grateful. And Next when slide. we open so Refuge World, it <laughs> <be ready. laughs> As long as you don't need anything to not float, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, sure. Next slide. Okay, so speaking of things that aren't perfect, but that do exactly what I need them to do, we have one more treat in the process segment, and I will hand it over to Ben to take us on this ride. All right, so those of you who have been to previous Adventure Zone virtual live shows will know what this part is. Uh, Tom, you can take us to the next slide. Uh, so... Uh, as you might have seen, Carrie's very early layouts are pretty rough. And I want to stress, I don't get to see these either. Like nobody, this is Carrie's like secret horde of terrible drawings that only she gets to see <laughs> normally, except for this one time where she gets into her beautiful treasure chest of, of like wild shit and takes some of it out. So for our next sequence, Tom, next slide, please. My favorite fun with layouts, as is tradition. So guys, we're going to give you, we have plenty of time here. So we're going to give you an opportunity to try to figure out what this panel is oh boy. before we do the big mm -hmm. reveals. Okay. We're going to start with an easy one and it's going to get more unhinged as we go. Because that's how, <laughs> I feel like that's the Adventure Zone spirit, honestly. Right. Uh, so Tom, we want to go next. All right. So. Uh... I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, I, yeah. it's, it's Taco Magnus and Merle, obviously. <laughs> right. I believe this is after Merle has just added himself as a, a, a time relativistic theorist. <laughs> wow. so done. Yeah. Also, yeah. my favorite thing here is that in Carrie's layout, she still understands one of the most important parts of Taco's acting, which is his ear language. Right. <laughs> like that's in the DNA. So you can yeah. do the reveal, Tom. That is in fact. Oh, yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. Exactly right. <laughs> I love how when the more insane the panel is, the more you try to preserve that energy through to the final art as much as possible. Yeah, yeah so try to get, right. capture the goblin energy as much as I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, next one. <laughs> wow. Wow. Baby oh. sandworms. Oh. Clinton, you're killing wow. it. Wow, yeah. from downtown. I yeah. saw this and I thought it was just a horrible hand. I thought it was a, <laughs> the worst hand. Like terrible fingernail goblin kind of like. Go. It's just the go. bongo bongo boss from uh, Ocarina <laughs> That's exactly time. what it is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next one. <laughs> um, Something with Angus. <laughs> no. No. I think this is at the ball. No, this is when Taco finds Magnus eating scones with Paloma. You guys are like killing it this yeah, year. Yeah, you're. On I'm. Point. I'm really. I'm. I'm. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage because I haven't read this book in about four months. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks for your support, Trav. Yeah, yeah really. Trav. Wow. I wrote it. Again, not... the stuffed cheek uh, shorthand. Uh, beautiful. Top A, car uh, top top grade cartooning here. Next. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, wow. I, this is. <laughs> uh, huh. 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 I don't I don't remember this one. This is an so. energy one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like it's, what's the energy here? I'm guessing it's Taco Magnus and Merle are surprised by something that Taco is delighted by or very afraid of. Oh I'm, my god. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, you wanna Damn. Okay. Wow. I, I feel like I should yeah. have had the context of what the scene was. <laughs> oh, and the Merle bun. The Merle bun. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, should have gotten Merle from the bun. Oh my god, this next one. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, when the when the, the <laughs> penises came in no. hand. It was Josie and no, the No, we penises. cut that part. We cut that part. That part's gone. All right. Uh these this looks like a strong bad sort of <laughs> I'm channeling the runner. brothers caps as best I can. Oh, I did end up flipping positions of two people That's in the, the final worst shot. Part for this is, one. I can tell you did that. Yeah. Is is that the umber staff? Um, holding? No. Um, Tom, you wanna? It looks like a stand-up bass. No. Uh... <laughs> you can tell that this Angus is so cursed. That oh, is a, That really does look like a drawing that you do on a map to warn people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't go here. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Of a I'm great so evil. Sorry. Never go in the elevators. He's mm -mm. having a hard time. All right. Next. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. Huh. Uh, wait, huh. wait, wait. Oh, is oh go ahead, Dad. You, I mean, you you just speculated first. I feel like is it I think it's a musical the... staff, right? <laughs> is it when the wall explodes? Is it is it when uh, is it is it when Cassidy escapes from jail? I will Ooh. say this one's horrifying. Uh -oh. Is all. Oh, it's Merle getting hit in the head. Well, all right, Tom, you want to. Whoa. Oh, one of the many death scenes. One of scenes. many death scenes. I think my note was meant to be silhouette, but it just looks like luh at this point. I thought it was uh, <laughs> there's like a Scottish kind of like a uh, thing going yeah. on here. Um, there's a lot for, for new people who have not read this book yet. There's a lot of um, funny deaths. There was a conversation early on. We were like, we have to kill these guys like a lot. And yeah. it's different when you see it. And yeah. finding the balance of like they are clearly dead, but in a funny way. In a yeah. hilarious yeah. Yeah, way. It's hard to walk that line. I feel like I ended up leaning pretty heavily on just uh perfect ham bones sticking out of unexpected body parts when they get yeah. covered yeah. to try to balance it out. It really sure. harkened back to the Gerblin days when you're just dismembering so many Gerblins. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Good you times. Really Good times. Time. Easy, time. simpler times. Different era. <laughs> Back when you Different used to era. be able to you, kill you a man. You used to be able to, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys next. know how hard the censors had been writing this in this book. You have yeah, no sure. Idea. There's that. There's the, there, there it is. This is him getting hit on the head, right? Awesome. There it is. Yeah. Tom, um, you want to, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I look like Gumby. It's like the uh, the oh, eyes. Oh, I did. I different... looked at some Gumby drawings. That's a good pull. Yeah, oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. There's a Gumby bot account that like tweets that multiple one. Gumbies every day, and I live by that thing. It keeps me going. Uh, next one. I've been looking for something to keep me going. That sounds good. That's a good <laughs> recommendation, Ben. Thank you. In these dark times, uh, I'm. A... So this is a this is a variation on a theme. I feel. I mean, it's definitely there. Uh, surprised, upset by something? Well, yeah, they're dismayed. I, would I think say we change we change the order of this one again too. Oh Tom, you yeah, want... we've included this one mostly because of how it perfectly captures once again the layout energy of um. I really like the upside down cat mouth of horror. A lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would say the the Merle mouth. I assume the the kind of uh child's drawing of a bird mouth translates very <laughs> well to the real one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he has a very expressive face. They all do. Yeah. All right. So next. <laughs> well, this is what happens when someone gets too excited. And what is this? It's an uh, explosion. Wait a minute. Good, Trap. That's good, Trap. Is it? It blew their body off. This is an emotionally resonant explosion. Oh, uh, well, spoilers. <laughs> oh, is it Junebug Ravens? Moment? Ravens Roost. That's the next. That's a different book. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, never mind. That is What's this book. 
Pardon me. Wow. I would <laughs> never. I would never. It's like we're working on multiple I, books at once or something. Oh, no. No, no, no. You have to be People crazy. are going to buy this one if they want to see the next one. We, we, I'm not, we I know. refuse to be the Tom Holland of the Adventure Zone <laughs> novel series. All right, Tom, Tom speaking of which. Okay. Oh, oh this is before right. a very important moment. Mm. Sure. I mean, they're all important moments. Yeah, by the book. You think watching, by the book. By the way, watching people lose their minds in the chat before this started, where they were talking about various heart wrenching secret moments in this book, was this very the one, man. They all start out like this. We got I was nasty. Thinking in this about one. it though, when yeah. this one was coming out, where I was like, oh, yeah, this is the one where there's like nine different oh, my heart moments. Like, yeah. Yeah. up yeah. until now, it's been like, oh, we're really in the moment. Oh, this is fun. Oh, they're singing Grease Lightning or whatever. And then it's yeah. like, this is the one where we talk about tragic backstories. Feasting yeah, on the sure. tears of our readers for this one that's right all right next <laughs> hmm oh I this is when this. taco hatched out of <laughs> classic his what his wonderful little leg i mean i don't know what that guy in the left is doing but i like him yeah Tom, I, like wanna... the fact, I like the fact that carrie signed this one down the bottom corner <laughs> oh, yeah. that's cool. all right uh we're getting close to the end here next <laughs> that's okay. That's, that, uh, yeah. that's Roswell. Yes, being Burst flattened against <laughs> Roswell has just run into a painting of a tunnel. Oh no, this is Roswell <laughs> the redoing the Take on Me yeah. uh music video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, next. Yep. Yeah. 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 Or, oh, exactly what, back one second. I love that you added all the extra diamond eyes, by the way. That yeah, was sure. The bird yeah, nice. too. Yeah. All right, next. <laughs> um, a boa constrictor one. strangling <laughs> Angus. Merle gets Merle. smashed in the face with a no. pie. Do you That's... remember which which uh, smashing in the face? No. All right, last I one, Tom. Is. This is oh, a pretty God. good in the yeah. spa. Okay, That's a good yeah. one. Dang it. Right. What's, so what's the final score? Who was keeping you guys score? Did really good, moment? actually. That was you much better than I expected. Yay. I feel like you got most of them. I was surprised by the specificity of C. Yeah. That was really good. Uh, uh, so I will say how, so now you have to deal with me a little bit longer because I also got uh, deputized appropriately for this book to also run the Q&A. Oh me. boy. Okay. So we're gonna roll right into that. Cool. And uh, bless Amanda and Sarah have very handily organized uh, some lovely questions from our audience. Before we get started, um, I have been reminded uh, to let you guys know that there is an event exclusive purchase Oh my uh, as a reminder, you can buy copies of the 11th hour with the event exclusive promotion from oh. Left Bank Books and Brookline Booksmith while supplies last. Uh, and their order page is, um, I can't read this URL that was pasted to me, but it is probably in the chat. Uh, oh, never mind. It's bit.ly TazGN Live 2023, which makes sense. And the exclusive is likely to sell out during the event. So if you want that, you should get on that. Uh, so moving They're on. They're fun there. trading cards. They are really. Cute. They are very fun yeah, trading, very, cards. Yeah. trading cards. It's fun because we do those like a significant time after the book is over, so we have to like get back into book mode to do the trading cards. It's We've also fun. partnered with the U.S. Mint to produce these beautiful coins. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, coins! Oh my We've god! All right, all right, all right. We have some questions, and we're okay. we are going to say who these are from because people took the time to put them in. So first of all, I want to make sure we get to this from Caitlin. Uh, she, her, uh, what was the most difficult part of adapting the 11th hour arc into a graphic novel? Do you guys remember? It's been a while. I remember some things that really sucked about trying to adapt this. <laughs> I remember um, multiple very long phone calls. Um, well, I mean, I don't, I, there were some very long phone calls, but I think it was just the fact that we had to fit this whole time loop thing in uh, without I know very early on we said, okay, we've got to come up with some devices so that we can skip ahead. Mm, in, right. In, like, let's start There's at noon. There's a lot noon. of formatting, yeah. yeah. Let's start at noon in Groundhog Day instead of 9.30. Um, yeah. And, I, and that, that, was, that was something we had to figure out. But, I mean, the solutions are pretty well, uh, pretty well uh, defined. And then and what else? The um... a lot of it was like figuring out where things to go because we had these little flashback sequences. Yeah, and I think right. originally that was all in the beginning of the book, and then we realized it was making it take too long to get started. Yes, we also did sort of the key, like the most essential and and most challenging thing for these adaptations, which is trying to figure out 
what characters can carry kind of multiple uh, yeah. purposes within the story so as not to over overload the book with with uh with characters and plotting uh and so this was i mean this this is one is where the rubber really hit the road uh on that on that account you know the past ones were i i would say easy compared to from a writing perspective at least uh they were pretty straightforward compared to this one where we're like okay wait there's no way we can do this whole sub story with this character that doesn't have anything else to do in the rest of the art. Can we somehow make that happen, but have this character be the one who does. Uh, so that was the big, the big struggle. I feel like early on, we had a conversation where we just made a list of all of our favorite characters. We wanted to make sure we kept. Yeah. And then we were like, okay, what stuff can we take from other characters and give to them to do? Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. We wiped out the whole purple kerchief gang. Like, that. yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> There was also the tone thing that you brought up earlier of just like, yeah, you know, it, when you paint with this particular brush, uh, I, by which I mean, use this genre, like the part of the macabre fascination, I think is like part is is part of it and you can't kind of avoid it. Uh, and so we wanted to do like a they die a lot sequence. And then we read it after we'd written it like, Jesus Christ, this is what? going to be a dark one folks and not just that i mean combine that with what we're talking about of like there's a lot of backstory stuff there's a lot of like character with character interaction yeah. uh you know and and so there's a lot more of like how hard can we go into and they get murdered a lot yeah. while also being like and also here's some sad stuff please finish reading this book please don't stop now when no, you know no. again props to carrie because that that mm -hmm. like tone is conveyed i think that the the, the the tightrope that we kind of had to walk, we could only do so much from the writing side on, and it had to be like how everything was was drawn. That uh, you know, our success or failure at hitting that tone uh, worked, and I, I, you know, I think, I think the, the time loop, uh, the time loop structure helped a lot with that too. I think because we did end up kind of condensing a lot of the goofiest deaths into the sequence, kind of in the middle of the book, and that yeah. gave them. The kind of breakup in the visual language of stopping one loop and starting yeah. another hopefully right. gives people a chance to like okay take a deep breath uh and now it's we're gonna be serious again yeah the and, mine stuff with like the locker oh. making your way through the mine was the yeah. one where we're like this is this was goofy when we did it and it's goofy now yeah and the mine car chase i mean and if that was one of the first instances and it's gotten <laughs> more often as we progress through the books, I mean, if we were to do more books, right? Um, that where we, there would we would do our, our our the scripts and then put little notes off to the side, and we'd put a note off the side and say, "Yeah, Carrie can figure this out. <laughs> yeah, Carrie can make this work." Okay, that's like eight <laughs> minutes on one question. Next, yeah, how are we well, doing? Well, I actually have a Carrie specific question okay. because Perfect. we love to we love Carrie here. Uh, kind of building on something you just said, uh, Anna wanted to know how you kept the art like feeling fresh when the nature of the arc is repetition. Like, is there some other particular things you did to keep it from feeling monotonous? Oh, well, you know, before we started this book, I was so excited about being able to reuse artwork. And I think I ended up reusing like two and a half panels altogether. So there's one big splash panel that gets repeated. There's some elements in the chalice sequences. And I think their legs every time they wake up are the same <laughs> but great. i feel like what's really interesting for me about time loop stories or one of the things i love is what what kind of changes even though so many elements are staying the same so like every time they wake up it's the start of the same wake up but what have they just done that might change the way they're feeling and how does that change their acting in that sequence so the goal was always to try to keep that novel feeling in it <laughs> and we had some real fun with how to uh portray time loops Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to, no spoilers, but that we, we had a lot of fun with that one. That was a good time. Uh, so let's see. Um, this is an easy one. I actually don't know what you guys are all going to say. Uh, who, <coughs> T, any pronouns, wants to know, who are your favorite characters from the 11th Hour arc of the new folks who showed up? Oh, shit. <clears throat> um, okay, I'll, I'll take one that I, I don't think the other boys, I, I, I really like Istis in the book. I think Istis is uh a great design and just like seeing her on the page again i remember like what a cool like kind of moment that was when we got into the temple and it was just it was such a shift in the like episodes and the recording of just like this moment of respite in the middle of this like high pressure 
kind of arc that I was just like, oh, this is nice. And it was nice to see it again. Uh, I, I, I don't know if we've talked about this, but this was kind of the first one that uh, me and dad sort of did a relay race on writing wise. Uh, and every time I got to write a scene that had Cassidy in it, it took me like 90 seconds to write it because it's the just first thought, best thought, just stream of consciousness uh, stuff that comes out of Cassidy's mouth is very, is very fun and easy to write. I wish we could write a book that's just eight Cassidy's talking to each other. Uh, we could, we could, uh, but it would at least sell out so bad we kill all the trees on Earth. Yeah. Um, I really like Ren a lot. I've always uh, had, had, uh, uh, Ren is one of my favorites. I, I, I like the, I like Taco seeing the impact that he has on people. I feel like uh, it contextualizes him really well to see someone who is purports to be so self-interested, but has these like real connections and is always moved when people like look up to him. I think because on some level he doesn't think that he, he deserves that kind of adulation. So um, i and I know that's seeing Ren very much through a taco specific lens, but um, yeah, the, the Ren is one of, one of my favorites. And Roswell, I mean, oh, yeah, they, right. they are incredible. I mean, yeah, I think sure. they, the, the visual was, and that's that's Carrie. Yeah, it, it just really brought that home. But I think that that uh, not to expand the question far beyond that. But I, my favorite thing about it being a time loop is there's not a character in Refuge that I wasn't like this person is great because like because we time looped it it was like the same 10 people and then not to mention like the flashback stuff where we get into like the kids and Julia and uh you get into Cezanne was it uh oh, Philippe, we, no. Philippe Philippe what did we change it to? oh Philippe yeah why do we change that? Wait, so now, Justin picked a name from freaking. I had been reading uh, Mistborn. this the Mistborn series, <laughs> and I didn't think I was gonna need a name, and I needed one right then, which yeah. is your want to do sometimes in the podcasting world. So I said the first name that I said, which was Say Zed, which was a, a one of the main characters How's in that? the Mistborn. Stop eating the cord, cat. One of the main characters in the Mistborn series. So I didn't think that made sense uh it's one of those that's like as soon as i said it i was like where did that come ah fuck okay well i guess yeah tm 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 and sorry the, sorry brando all right Carrie, this was who, the first appearance of mavis and mookie yeah, yeah, it was. yeah sure. all of them yeah oh <clears throat> Carrie, oh, who's your I'm going to cheat and say I can't pick one because everybody has to be my favorite while I'm drawing Merle. them. Because otherwise, okay. I mean, I, I can't. We'll confirm <laughs> that off mic. Um, but otherwise, unless they are my favorite in the moment, I would never be able to put care into drawing them 50 or one or 200 or one or 2000 times. Uh, I will say I'm really into melodrama as like a fun over the top acting thing. So anytime a character is written with that kind of dialogue or where I can come up with fun acting for how they're doing something, it is a treat for me to get to work on. Um, and I feel like Ren and Istis and Cassidy all had a lot of that in this book, which was a real treat. Yeah, I will and say, Paloma too. Oh, and Paloma. And Honestly, <clears throat> briefly, because this isn't about me, I love both Isaac and June so much as like yeah. opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of yeah. decent person. And I liked both versions of June. And that's all I'll say about that for spoiler reasons. So Ooh. we have our final question. We have time for just one more. And I'm telling you officially, you can answer this question. Uh, Somebody, uh, Amanda L, wants to know, uh, how far in advance does work on the graphic novel start before release? And are we already working on the suffering no, game? We're, we're done. Uh, we decided here. <laughs> with that, if you read this book, you'll notice it's got a very final ending to it. We just yeah. Don't. And Can they I... want it, man. First, second, and fans were like, please do more, please do more. And we four backwards were like, fuck you. <laughs> we just don't. I'm not going to do it anymore. I had to open up the book discreetly during this very Q&A to ensure that the <laughs> Back matter included a mention <laughs> of the suffering game just yeah. to make sure that it was revealed. Yeah, we're, we're far working. enough now. We're already working on story and song. Like we're already working on. Like, we're working on we're book thirteen. No, ben, 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 you I did open chest. this door. I did open. Ben, this you door. can't That's silence true. me. We're gonna finish this series <laughs> uh, and then retire to a cave <laughs> in uh, somewhere well, in the Scottish Highlands. We have to do the the eight the eighth. Uh, the eight secret the DLC. Cassidy, yeah, that Ben just agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. All the ben yeah. just said we could do it. The Cassidy multiverse. This is very good. It'll be a novella. It's fine. Yeah. 
Oh, but yeah, no, we, we're we're almost done with Suffering Game, honestly. Yeah, yeah we are deep, deep into working on it and have been for a long time. I've been working on the big boss fight scene lately, which has been a delight. <laughs> We have time for one more question because you guys were so efficient with uh, delivering spoilers here. Carrie, I have one more, uh, one bonus question here. Okay. PD, they then wants to know, what was your favorite thing to color in this book? Ooh, oh, well, I feel like I already used my cop-out answer of they're all my yeah. favorites, so I can't cheat. <laughs> um, I do really love flashy magic effects and super saturated colors. So I think the, the, mine, the mine cart ending of the book, big chase sequence was a real treat because they go through so many different kinds of locations and it was fun to try to make it all work and be like visually interesting even though they are in a dark cave but it's lit by fantasy magic so don't worry about it i liked that you made the canyons look like delicious candy they oh, do look you. good i, I should and be the clear bubble looks great i should be clear awesome uh <laughs> when we say we're working on these graphic novels that can mean anything from thank you travis we started coming Stop up with it. some words for them just to like digging is powering them. No, I'm just saying like people are like, then why aren't they out? Because it takes like a year and a half. <laughs> Take we have to write them. We gotta <clears throat> Carrie's yeah. gotta draw them. We yeah. have to talk Every about single it. copy you buy, Carrie Individually draws my hand. Yeah, yeah, in in her illuminated script. <laughs> we have to be we have to be embarrassed by how good Carrie's pictures are and then make up better words to go yeah. on. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a process. That we write in by hand on top of the other mm -hmm. speech bubbles until everything's illegible. Yeah. Folks, that's all I got. Thank you so okay. much for talking to me Thank about you. your great Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. You are our friend. Have Thank a fun you. time with the rest <laughs> of your evening. Wild thing to say. to say. You are our friend, Ben. <laughs> we'll ben. Thank you very much. Ben, ben. friend. <laughs> ben knows what I mean. <laughs> ben does it. Ben Bye. knows. Bye, Ben. All right. Ben, and, you're and free and to go. Please. <laughs> Carrie, I want to uh, whisk you away, too, so we can welcome our next uh, speakers. Bye, Carrie. Next, our next edit. friends. Our next friends. Our next friends. <laughs> they are our friends. <laughs> hi, Jenna. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you told me we were dressing up and no one else is oh, dressed up. Oh, we should have clarified, oh, Gabe. Man. Okay, I'm so sorry. sorry. That's so embarrassing. Hello, Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. What is your background? Are you coming from I'm a coming to lake? you from Cloth. Ah. I'm coming oh. to you from the city of Cloth. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful that cloth. messed my brain all the way up. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's, it's really tripping me up. That's what I'm yeah. after. That's what I'm after. Um, oh, oh man, delightful! Thank you, thank you both for doing this uh, yeah, with us. Thanks uh, for having us. I've just noticed that Travis's headphones, I believe, have RGB gamer lights on them. I'm or... a gamer, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cool. I hold ace about those lights now. That's all I care about. We will Sorry, discuss guys. that I after this. <laughs> after this session, uh, should we hop into it? Yeah, I'd love to read some of this fantastic sure. book. Let's a lot do of it. pressure. I just spent a lot of time listening to how much everyone loves Cassidy. And yeah, don't forget. <laughs> <a lot laughs> no, no, right That's here. why we awarded you the part. Yeah. Without yeah. any discussion about what Cassidy should sound like, let's do it. Woo! Okay, well, in spite of your indiscriminate shouting of nonsense words, I think you guys are all right. I hope the sheriff agrees. Rumble crash. Do you uh, get a lot of those? Tremors? No, not really. I need to go check it out. Just stay here and don't do anything bad. Slam. Decodable, breakable, stealable, locked, also locked. Uh, to be fair, they just met us a few minutes ago. They'll learn. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's uh, start with the dex drawer. Hell yeah. Let me give Yun's a fair warning. Roswell's gonna raise a real stink if Yun's mess with that drawer. Who the hell let them? Don't worry, partners. I'm all over this. Dear lady, have you heard the word of Pan today? Oh, that never goes well. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Burgle unlocks locks. Keys? A crummy bunch of keys? I just wasted an unlocking spell to get keys to something I could have used the spell on. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, and a magic alarm, too. Great. Wee -oo, wee -oo. This is bad. Wee -oo. This is this is a bad thing I did. 
I wonder if Roswell's too far away to stomp, hear it. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Woo! Wham! 1125 a.m. So, no. 1130 a.m. <laughs> Told you they'd be pissed. <laughs> okay, so I gave you guys a chance and you immediately blew it. Now I've got to go back to the general store because they got hit pretty hard by that tremor. You can still wait here for Sheriff Isaac. But now you can do it inside that cell. Boyam. Oh, man. I hope this isn't going my permanent record. So first time in the slammer, big guy? <laughs> Just follow my lead. Wait, where'd you get that harmonica? Oh. This thing, I did a bit of trading. Had a rock hammer tucked away in a hollow chapter of the old extreme teen Bible. <laughs> Scored some root beer barrels for my trouble, too. We have been in here for 15 seconds, and there's only one other person in here. Magnus, please. In situations like this, it's important to not <laughs> exhibit signs of weakness. Uh, observe. Hey, you, listen up. Uh, us three are the uh, baddest Broncos this side of Howdy! Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Salutations, cellmate. Uh, what do you say we start over, huh? Saladacious? What are you saying? That gerblin speak. Uh, hey, deputy, hey, deputy, got an ankle and these three are gerblins stacked on up wearing people skins. Hey, ma'am, I assure you, we're no gerblins. Uh, that's what a gerblin say, huh? Let's start over uh, again. Name's Merle, that's Magnus, and the wizard with the soiled robes over there, that's named Taco. Charm. No oh, hell, y'all seem <laughs> all right. Yeah, <coughs> rustic hospitality. Yeah, that's my line. I never met a bunch of Gerblin skinwalkers for. And technically, you still haven't. Name's Cassidy, but my friends call me Cassidy. That's... Okay, fine. Hi, Cassidy. Hey, you marches. <laughs> Cassidy, race half orc, class minor, proficiencies, digging diamonds, very specific skill set with bombs, down home homilies. What? No, he's Marcus. I'm Taco. <laughs> Whatever you say, Torgo. Okay, I think we're good on introductions. Uh, may I ask what got you locked up, Cassidy? Oh, that. Trespassing. Used to work in the mines below town before they got shut down. Got caught trying to slip back in. They jailed you for trespassing? I know, right? Sheriff Isaac took me in and he confiscated all the damn explosives I had on me. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. Cassidy, you seem like someone who's got their finger on the pulse. Hell yeah. I got some big ideas about how refuge should run. Lots of folks tell me they say, Cassidy, you got stink ideas. But you know what I say to that? I say, they're the stink ones. That's seldom. Uh, what do you know about that eye-catching statue outside? Oh, that? Kind of an eyesore, if you ask me. That, that's that visitor there with the little June bug and the old mayor, Jack. Hey, uh got themselves killed down there in the mines. Is that why the mines are on lockdown, then? Uh, well, I'm not really sure I'm supposed to be... Rumble! Cassidy, what's up with the earthquakes in this godforsaken town? What kind of crack is that? Sorry, I guess that was a little judgy. I, uh... We weren't talking about what you said, muscles. Thank you. Now... I know you gerblins and me ain't exactly seen eye to eye up to this point. But how's about we make a little circle of trust between y'all and Cassidy? Shrimp crash. You don't knock me out. Shrimp crack. Crash. And I'll pardon you once I'm in charge. She's so lucky. I've always wanted to do a Shawshank. Ugh. You don't think it serves the narrative to just sit on our asses? 
No, I don't. I think we should scoot out of here and go help with whatever is going on. We haven't even gotten the lay of the land yet. I'm a little nervous about going rogue before we know what's going on here. But somebody may be in trouble while we're sitting here and doing nothing. Maybe if we help, we could win them over. So I... <laughs> Fash. I can't, say no to... I can't say no to you when you're being all sincere and heroy. Okay. So which direction do you think Roswell went? Mm, gotta figure those are their tracks. Good eye, Merle. One advantage of being lower to the ground. What's up, Bax? Oh, somebody's being sneaky creepy over there. Yeah, probably a fan. You'll get used to it. Yes, it's me, Taco <laughs> from TV. No time for autographs. Uh, maybe later. Hmm. Oh, the trimmer really caused some hell out here. Oh, inside too. Okay, seriously? Seriously, you couldn't wait in the cell like I asked you nicely? The earthquake popped our cell open, and we didn't want you to come back and think we had escaped. So, we escaped to come tell you we didn't escape. And the quake also sucked Cassidy right out of her cell. Sucked her right out. Whoosh, just like that. Whoosh. Drop. That's it. I've had it with you three. Crackaboom. Crackaboom. Rumbledy, rumbledy. <laughs> Incredible. Sheriff, now would be a good time to come out of hiding. Oh, is that always like this in your town? In our magic bubble town? No, it's usually pretty uneventful. What the fuck did you three bring with you? Whoosh. Crackle, crackle. You guys have been here 45 minutes. Huh, you should see what we can do in an hour. 11.52 a.m. Crash, crackle, whoosh. Help the survivors. Scoop, crackle, rumble, whoo. Over here. Fuzz. Vroom. Hey, hang in there. You're going to be okay. T -t Taco? <gasps> what? Dun, 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 dun. What? Wow! Amazing! Twinner. Wow! Twist wow. written and drawn I, so well. I gotta what buy this twist. book, guys. I, I gotta, gotta buy this book. <laughs> I gotta find out what happens. It's really freaking cool. Uh, Edge of my good. seat. Yeah, it's amazing. Hey, uh, people, we want everybody to buy our book. Yeah. But Gabe, Janet, what about you? What do you want people to buy? We're on the <laughs> Besides spot. our book. Besides our book, obviously. That's taken it for would granted. be weird if you came on here and like, well, not your book. <laughs> it's going to sound weird, but not your night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would love for people yeah. to buy your book. I would Thanks, love for Janet. people to buy your book. I think people should buy more books in general. Oh, yeah. Gabe, that's and if, if you want a shell, I'll give you a shell. That's it. Actually... I wrote a book yes. recently. It's easy, uh, right? It, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Gabe, Gabe, just have someone else wrong. write it, and you jump in and just, like, do the jokes. It's or just be like, that's not right, that's not right, that's you not right. That's right. That. Yeah, man. Gabe, tell me about your book. Uh, I wrote I wrote a kid's guide to tabletop role-playing games. Ooh, um, come on. It, it comes oh. out in June. Uh, my nephew loves tabletop games but didn't really know what I did. And like, I wanted a book that he could understand what I do and then probably start making games better than I ever could. Like I started this late. So if, if he starts now, he's going to be making dope stuff and then I can play it when I'm retired. There Perfect. That That's sounds awesome. so good. That sounds really good. Yeah. Janet. You're going to love being retired. Yeah. Yeah. Janet, okay. you have a <laughs> podcast that everyone should listen to. I'm sure I'll write a book someday, <laughs> but until then, I want you to buy these fine folks books i'm talking about gabe's in june i'm talking about the adventure zone you Janet, can I, i'll, I'll write book. your book for you and then you can just come and do all the jokes and, edit <laughs> I love to do jokes yeah. and i love yeah. to tell people what they're doing wrong thank you yeah. I, i'll, I'll <laughs> push something for janet because i guarantee there's a huge crossover janet and dante uh, basco have a, an avatar podcast called braving the elements that's true yeah. um that is wonderful um so if you're a fan of avatar last airbender or uh cora make sure you check that out also, I just got done doing Sketchfest, and it was absolutely wonderful. So go to Sketchfest in 2024, everybody. Jan's one of the organizers and founders. 
So make sure you go to Sketchfest. Yeah, you have almost a year to get ready for it. So you yeah. can start picking your outfits now and <laughs> watch my social media for more. Done deal. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're set. Okay, you're I'm really ready. Set. Don't ask why I had that within arm's reach. That's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Gabe and Janet. Thanks, for, thank you for so being here with us. Y'all crushed Super it. Fun. Thank you. Uh, I think we're going to uh, take a, a brief hiatus. For, I mean, we are. That's, this that's, stream is not. It's yeah. not going to end. And it's 10 minutes, which I wouldn't really call a hiatus. Like if someone said our show's going on a hiatus. Yeah, our show's going on. This stream's going in sabbatical. <laughs> <laughs> for 10 minutes is, is it enough time for me to get this damn chain mail yes, off yes yeah, dad and I, again i'm sorry we made you wear that death yeah we, i don't know why we forced you to uh i well, so we're gonna look at some uh some beautiful art during this brief intermission uh we've got an, a, an exclusive slideshow just for you so make sure you watch it and we're gonna take a brief pay, uh, break and then we'll be right back with more pals more jokes more fun more love more laughter more yeah, more, there it is. More living, more learning, more yeah. luck. More, Please more just cut us off because we can't. We can't. Yeah, we, we never know. know how, we lasagna. We love lasagna. Just gotta go ahead and just, just like Garfield. Yeah. There you go.
And we're back. Yeah. Hey, hey, hello. Very yeah. smoothly done. Very smooth. Yeah, um, Max, Max changed. She's comfortable. That's all that matters for that's me. That's the important thing. Hey, for a second, I was like, who's Max? And I was really <laughs> confused. Um, yeah, I had to. Dad was on his knees in my office as with his hands above his head. As I oh, like to, a toddler. Like I tried to as I tried to pull the chain mail off. Our buddy Charlie Olson uh, sent a message and he said, hey, I love that chain mail. What was it made out of? Wool? I said, no. No. Heavy ass metal. But sure. oh. he can he can take a bullet with that thing on. Charlie like, is our is our friend, but he's also our literary agent. We don't thank him enough. For I think dad call him your fr friend. Dad call him your friend. Outlet no, because if you don't explicitly say it now, no, no, every be, who, no. I think this is a circumstance, Griffin, where Dad said our friend Charlie Olson instead of the literary agent who's responsible for the graphic <laughs> novel. <laughs> oh, that's right. fair. Yes, yeah, so that's fair. I didn't mean it to be diminishing in any no, way. No, sure. no, no. What could be no, a greater honor than be Dad's friend? Be my friend. <laughs> Charlie friend. All right. Uh, you know, you know about the EGOT. That's that's the uh, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, Clint's friend. Uh, okay. We have uh, speaking of friends that we love to to welcome onto the stage. Let me see if we can if I can beam them here with my mind. Yes, please. Can you hear us, Gene and Christina? Christina Ariel. Yeah, and Gene. No problems, Gray. <laughs> I don't want no problems. <laughs> I don't want any. I gotta let it be known. Sometimes you gotta yeah. type it out. No problems. <laughs> Gene, always, I should have thought to do that, Gene. Gene that would solve a yeah. lot of problems. If yeah. You yeah. If I just said it up front, hey, everybody. No and problems. then and then and then they'd be like, oh, oh, oh I, I didn't know. know. I, I was gonna bring home. problems, but yeah. <laughs> hey, Gene, you are my friend, and I wanted you to. Oh, yes, that. that's right. Yeah. I forgot to say, Christina, hello. Hello, stop liver. We can't see you. Christina. We can't see you, Christina. What do you mean? Oh, that must have seemed so Yay! rude from me. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. You're my friend, Christina. Yay! Yay. Nice <laughs> meeting. <laughs> Christina, is there a, a large really metal pipe behind, behind you? Who is and isn't his friend tonight? It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very big honor. I've been listening, and I was Christina. hoping he would call me his friend, and it happened. We'll see if I have. Okay. Christina, is there a large uh -oh. steam pipe behind you? Is your studio steam powered? That would be very cool. That would be cool. It would, but I think it, maybe oh, this might be the issue. Yes, it would explain the lag spikes yep. that we are currently cool. experiencing. A Christina, are you, are you torrenting? Uh, pirated blockbuster films. This uh, is a grand tradition started by no. Matthew Lillard in our last stream. And can it continue? <laughs> I've turned off everything. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You look yeah, so, yeah it's you so go. much better. That fixed. Yeah. It. Good. Whatever now. you Good did. Now. Okay. okay. It's because you, Christina, you didn't put no problems. Ah, That's exactly yeah. what it was. Yeah. No yeah. problem. What it was. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. Shall my we bad, do a reading? Bad. Let's do uh, it. Yes, let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> Dad, you're the are you the sphix? I'm the sound effects. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cool. He's gonna really he, don't worry, guys. He's not totally gonna make a huge meal of this. <laughs> it's just gonna be real down the middle. Very simple. <laughs> hey, as Thomas Jefferson says in 1776, I wrote all of it, Mr. Adams. Well, sure. the sound effects. Yeah. 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 Also, yeah. hey, we give you a lot of credit for writing it. F off, old man. <laughs> yeah, man. You got your due. All, All right. right. Now, it's pronounced three letters. Slam. 1110 a.m. Howdy. You can't smoke that in here. What? Oh, this is, this is fake. I use it when I'm trying to look intimidating chew 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 how's it working so far <sighs> look buddy <sighs> hi i'm taco <laughs> from tv you drop smash <gasps> you're taco from taco from tv from tv <gasps> i I, I'm Whoosh. your biggest fan. Finally, it can see with taste. Oh, I watched every single one of your shows. What? 
the hell are you doing in refuge? Wait, how'd you get through the bubble in the first place? Listen. Ren. Listen, Ren. The whole set <laughs> is wild, but I knew a fellow magician would understand. And I can tell you're a student of the arcane arts. Ren, race elf, class saloon owner, proficiency, slinging the suds, taco fandom, wizard wannabe. You knew that? You can sense my power? Actually, I just saw that ginormo staff you got behind the counter and put two and staff together. So, anyways, I'm here to save the town and by extension, the world, and by further extension, the linear flow of time itself. You're what? Oh, and can I get a sarsaparilla, by the way? I'm barched. So you're here to... to save the town. From oh. from what exactly? God, that's vulgar. The town? Huh? Oh, yeah. Gonna get exploded real good. Or maybe imploded. I, I don't know. We only gone through it once so far. Really learning on our feet here. It's like this, Ren. You caught in a time loop. Wait. Has something like this happened before? Oh, uh, not as far as I'm aware. It just seemed like what you're getting at. And time's always misbehaving around these parts. Ever since the bubble went up a couple of years back, we've had all kind of weird phenomena around town. The temple got unbuilt. The mines got time stuck. I swear, some days time stretches on like taffy. Only we're all so in it, we can't notice the difference. And through all of it, we're just trapped here. Safe, some and safe from the world outside. But now we're trapped like rats. <laughs> I swear, your show is the only thing keeping me sane in here. You still watch? Of course, man. Your show in Wajera Woods killed last month. Last month? Yeah. And once this bubble pops, first thing I'm doing is getting tickets to your next show. My next show? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be be a problem, Ren. I don't really do that anymore. And if you're under the impression that I do, then, well, time may be a lot more fucked up than you know. So, you're saying... Hey, Ren, remember? Time loop? <laughs> as much as I'd love to recount my professional trauma with you, I'm kind of in crunch mode at the moment. Oh, okay. What do you need? Well, what I need is the... the man, Gene, you're really good at this. Okay, I'm trying to be better <laughs> at acting. Hold on. Yeah, well, wait, well, wait, let's what, focus, let's focus up for a second. Okay, everybody yeah, shut up. Yeah, not, not helping. She's <laughs> having a moment. She's having a moment. I know, no, but you're I doing just, grid. We don't you're usually like, bring you're it. You're good at acting. I'm just, okay, here it goes. Okay. All right. Great. Well, what I need is the thing that's causing all the time weirdness any any chance you got a lead on where something like that might be oh well um let's see i mean if i wanted to keep something that powerful hidden well the safest place in town would probably be the bank vault but there's oh oh so that's why you're planning on robbing the bank twitch why I'm ha 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 ah, that's a good one, partner. Uh, anyways, I'd better get scooting. Lots of bartendy stuff to do back here. Wait, wait, I, I didn't mean to Sorry, I can't hear you. Bye. <laughs> Slam. Oh. Oh well. <sighs> There's Awful. always next loop. Uh, 11, 25 a.m. Hmm. Hmm. Wrestle, 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 wrestle. 
I love that show, Shift Creek. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend that's what I intended. Yeah. Peak. Magnus. Tim. Tim. Surreptitiously. <laughs> Rushes. Creek. You need help, don't you? Ah! She need defibrillator. Come now, dear. Something tells me you're in a bit of a hurry. I am Paloma, but I already know your name, yes. Introductions are not necessary. But we've never... Uh... What can I help you with, Magnus Burnsides? Paloma. Race, human. Class, oracle. Proficiencies, predictions, prophecies, crystalline feng shui. Okay. Well, uh, my friends and I come from beyond the bubble. I know this. And we're here to solve refuges' troubles? I know this also. Well, I'm glad one of us has a grip on what's going on here. Scone? I'm good, thanks. Ah, shame. Maybe next cycle you come back and try the skull? Sure. You're wondering how I know of your predicament? I'm guessing it has something to do with your overhead decor. Ah, oh, so observant, my prophecies. Some big, some little. They show things to come. Fates to be averted. Fates to be embraced. You seek help. The prophecies can help. Okay, so uh, do I just put one down? You got a step ladder I can borrow? No, you mustn't. When Istas is ready to reveal her whims to you, she will do so without your intervention. Sorry, uh, Istas? Istis, goddess is a fate weaver of the world tale. You know this. Can't say as I do. Guessing that's her place down the road? Looks like it's seen better days, uh, though, with the earthquakes around here. It's a miracle that... No, no, earthquakes. The temple is fine. But, uh... It is here, but it is not now. It is locked away in another time. The door will open, but only when... Estes is ready, right? Uh, so we wait. Yes, we wait. And so, I ask again. Don't. Slam! God, I hope you're having better luck with your loop. We're like minutes from Beastville, and I haven't... Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> 11.35 a.m. Well... How about next time, Loop? You get to interrogate the townies, and I get to have a tea party. Well, that's probably fair. Welcome, Taco. <laughs> I told you she was a fan. <laughs> I've never seen your work, dear, but I have seen you, and I've seen the paths you might follow. Oh. It's a magic thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um... You may call me Paloma. Right on, Paloma. You can see the future, right? In a manner of speaking, yes. Fantastic. Well, then, why don't you go ahead and just tell us how we break the loop, grab the chalice, and uh, scoot on back home. Oh, Taco, tell me, what would be the fun in that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so you, you have no idea. I did not say that. <laughs> Tink. Whish. Whoa! Smashing. Smashing. Well, dears, did that help? <laughs> not really. I do not choose which prophecy should be revealed if Istus wills it. Only then shall we. Yeah, cool. Maybe tell us this we're on a pretty tight schedule. Where where do you keep your scissors, by the way? Crash! Whoa! Hell yeah! Two for one, prophecy bogo. <laughs> Boom. 
Both the prize you seek and the destruction you've seen come from below. You are not prepared to face it. Um. But you must know its face. Oh. Well. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, Yay. well, the end of the book. The end of the book. Um fantastic. That, that was wow. lovely. Thank you both so Everybody's got to buy this one. But yeah. This is a must have. This is I a must have. Book list. Buy uh, book. Buy book. <laughs> <laughs> by book you, you don't want you don't want no problems you got to put no problems <laughs> no, no problems no problem book. back of the book. Book. no problems by be book. friend by book. no problems no problems that's, that's all you need get that be friend get that be friend. friend by, by book. book no, no problems. problems hey gene mm -hmm. didn't you write a book i'm in the mm, tail end uh, <laughs> 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 that was said by and laughed at by people who know uh, writing books is a lot. Um, yeah. Wrapping up writing a book. And so I guess that'll be out in 2024. So, um, yeah, you don't have to buy anything else uh, from that. Um, and uh, don't make direct eye contact if you see me in the street. There that would go. be the that would be the greatest gift of all. Huge I think. Yeah. 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 I love Fantastic. that. <laughs> Christina, what about you? What can people do to support you? Like emotionally, um, financially, <laughs> whatever. Spiritually. Um, <laughs> I would like an emotional support penguin. If you can provide one, that would be hey, fantastic. Hey, okay. Oh. No problem. Anyone got still, an extra penguin? Yeah. Chris a penguin. Who's getting that? Oh, He's My ordering a penguin on Star on, 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 on it. Yeah, that's real. That's real friendship right there. You are a friend. That's you a are friend. my friend. Yeah. yeah. And so are you. No, you're, it's, <laughs> yeah. I, this, this whole oh. bit. Well, this whole uh, bit's you can great. support a thing. It's uh, so my name is Christine Ariel. I host Star Wars The Higher Public Show on StarWars.com. So you can go and check that out. We have a new episode coming very soon. I'm actually hopping on a plane after this to go and do that. So Ooh, I cool. appreciate mm. it. And that's how you can do the support. And that was so fun. Like, I love Paloma so much. And I want You're to You're great. Yeah, yeah you're fantastic. Really you are absolutely fantastic. incredible. All of you, good. congratulations. I'm thank so you. Thank you. Everyone. Good thank fucking you. job. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks both Dean. of you. Thanks for coming to our show. Yes. Let me really come play fun. games with you. I want to do the yes. thing. Yes, yes, yeah. please. Yes. Uh, let's do the thing. And... By which now I mean, you two get out of here. Your live hey, stream. The road. Hey. hey, thank you uh, to everybody who came out and guested. And Travis is going to run down the whole list right now because I just got. Yeah, we're going to say thank you to Gene, to Christina. Where, where's Carrie? Hey, Janet, Carrie. Hello. To Mega Ran, to, uh, oh, I know I'm forgetting people. I know I am. Who was else? Gabe. And scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll, Janet scroll. Varney. I yes. said Janet. You did yes. say Janet. Uh, thank you to Ben. Thank you to Carrie. Carrie, you work so hard on these. Yeah. And I, you just do such a good job. And I, and Abria, Abria, Abria. Thank you. Abria. But, but Carrie, you're the best. I'm just really happy we get to work with you and stuff. Oh, it's okay. genuinely an honor. This book is so. Uh, it's. Uh, I. It feels weird, and probably to everybody watching, a little douchey for us to be as complimentary of the book as we are. But uh, we did. We we wrote it a long time ago, and your art is so fucking good. So <laughs> good. It's like an absolute treat to read it. I can't oh. imagine us doing this with anybody but you. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. I feel so lucky that we all get to work on this as a team. I feel like it is rare to get to be on a project where everyone cares so much about making the whole thing the best it possibly can be. And it is just a treat every time. Uh, we also want to say thank you to Charlie Olson. As Dad mentioned, our, our literary agent, this wouldn't have happened without him. Uh, thank you to Tom. To, thank Tom. You to Tom for uh, running the stream for us. And today. Amanda, and Sarah, and, and, and everybody at first second. Yeah. Everybody at first second. They all work so hard to make. Thank this. you, Morgan. Yeah, thanks, Morgan. Of course. Thank you, Morgan and Molly and Kirk. Molly, and thank everybody. you to me and everybody. Oh, thanks, Travis. Welcome. Yeah, you're Kay welcome. Carrie, Dad. What? Who else worked on this book besides us? I know there's other people that make it a book. Uh huh. There's Ben. Uh, so Tess Stone did the lettering. He is a genius cartoonist, and everybody should read his work. Natalie Reese did the uh, introduction tapestry spread, which is oh, just drop so dead gorgeous. Um, so everybody should check out Natalie's work also. Fantastic. Excellent. Hey, thank thanks everybody. And make sure you buy this a lot of them, and make sure you tell everybody else to buy a lot of them. Yeah. So you can finish. So big comic. 
Yeah, run that stickers. Stickers. <laughs> run yeah. that beautiful bean footage. Get your exclusive purchase from Brookline Booksmith or Left Bank Books. Details at bit.ly slash Taz GN Live 2023, folks. And it's going to come back around. Watch it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong <laughs> way. All right, yeah. bye, guys. Good job, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Thank you everybody. so much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 bye.